Hey, hey, you guys, thank you for popping up in here. I think I'm live everywhere. So, hey, 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 everyone. I am Beverly Walthour, your business strategist for Christian female coaches and consultants. So I'll give you guys a second to pop on in here. I know you haven't seen me in a while. I told you guys I was, um, I ended up doing some traveling and so I was gone. And so I am back. I told you guys Tuesday, September the 5th. So I am back. I am back. I am back. And you guys, it is actually uh, raining and storming here. So I'm going to <laughs> just give you guys the skinny tonight. Um, and then hop off because I'm, I'm from the old school country and, you know, my mom would kill me if she knows I'm on electronic devices <laughs> and it's storming outside. So it, actually, it sounds like the storm may have passed and it's just rain. But I, I, look, yeah, I, yeah, she didn't play that. So I am not going to be on here too long. Uh, but I did want to pop in here starting a series. And this series is actually one that I've spoken about before, but people still ask me questions about it. So I said I was going to revisit this particular series. And so this series is a four part series. Um, and so we're going to do, you know, parts one, two and three this week and then look at part four on next week. And um, so we're going to go ahead and hop in and get started. So I just want to make sure that everything is fine and dandy everywhere. And um, of course, those of you that are catching me on the replay, remember, if you're on IG or Facebook, you can still leave comments under the video and I'll get those. Um, and then we know how um, Periscope does. And you, IG, you know, y'all, you have this 24 hours and that's it. It's gone. OK, so you guys, as a coach or a consultant. We know that there are actually multiple ways that you can bring income into your business. And so we know the most obvious way when it comes to being a coach or a consultant is one on one. And so either one on one consulting, one on one coaching um, is definitely a way for you to bring in money quickly into your business. And we've talked about, you know, your one on one coaching. That's like your highest level. That's your most expensive offer that you have out there is your one on one coaching. And so um, and we've spoken before that in your business, you can have other little offers out there as well. But we know the one on one is going to be the one because it requires, you know, your greatest expertise and your, that person is working with you one on one. So, of course, your time is there as well. And so um, these the the part the series I'm going to do today is actually going to go back to something that I've been talking to you guys. Oh, my gosh. Since what? Uh, <laughs> since last year. Um, but once again, because it is new people, we'll definitely go back and touch on this again. And so we're going to break this down into four parts. And so remember when we talked about this before, uh, we'll start off with the part that you usually charge the least amount of money. And then once again, work all the way up to your one on ones where you charge the most amount of money. And so um, with your coaching and consulting business, you have, um, you know, other ways outside of your one on ones. And so, like I said, that's what we're going to talk about today is just some other ways that you can actually have, you know, bring income into your business. And so the first way that we'll talk about once again, which is usually the cheaper way for you to bring money into your business um, is with your products. And so, um, you know, just depending upon where you are. And also, you guys, as we go over this, <laughs> this I always like to put this out um, is when I talk about these different parts to different ways you can bring money into your business, this is not to say that you go out and do all of these. No, 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 no. You don't go out and run out and do all of these. You certainly take all of this in and then you decide what's best for your business. And so definitely do not feel that you have to run out and do all four of these ways as, as ways of bringing money into your business. But as we're coming up to the, um, you know, we're coming up to the end of the third quarter, which, you know, September will be the end of the third quarter, moving into the fourth quarter of the year. And certainly we had goals that we set at the very beginning. And so we want to make sure that we are definitely on point to hitting our goals. And so you guys also, before we dive in any further, um, you know, definitely want to make sure that checking in on those of you that may be in the path of yet another hurricane. Um, and I know right now, you know, we're still in the early stages of Hurricane Irma. Irma? Irma? What's her name? Irma? Yeah, Irma. And I just talked to my sister. I said, how do you say this one? But yeah, we know we just had Harvey that hit um, Texas a week or so ago. And then now we're saying, hey, there may be another storm that's hitting the U.S., um, but certainly want to send out thoughts and prayers to those of you that may be in the pathway, because right now we actually really don't know the path of the storm. So certainly want everyone to be careful out there. So definitely um, hearts, prayers, thoughts are with those families out there um, and just making sure that, you know, you definitely stay safe in this path. Um, and so, OK, so what I want to talk to you guys about today is, um, you know, as a coach or a consultant, you can certainly have products in your business. And so usually when people say products, it's usually like a physical product and you definitely can have physical products in your business, um, in your coaching and consulting business. I know a lot of you guys are actually authors and speakers. Hey, 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 lady, how are you? Hey, hey, hey. Um, and so I know, I know a lot of you guys are um, authors and speakers. 
And so you guys know that I was part of a book um, uh, anthology. And so I have a chapter here in my book, Time to Not Between Ministry and the Marketplace. Um, and with my book, I did have a chapter in here. And so I know a lot of you guys, either you have a book that's out or that is part of what you want to offer is actually having a physical book. And that is certainly a product that you can have as part of, you know, the catalog of services that you offer. And we spoke about this before where this is a low touch point, a low cost touch point for someone where they can certainly get in here and get to know you a bit. Um, and those of you that have purchased the book, you know, my chapter is the very last chapter, you know, say the best for last. And so, um, you know, that's definitely a way for you to get yourself out there, um, you know, in, in a different avenue as well, because a lot of us do have that desire to write a book. And so that's certainly something that you can do. And that's part of, um, you know, when it comes to like a suite of products, if you do decide to have that as part of your business. So you can definitely have products that are physical products in your business. And so with those physical products, you guys, those can be anything you did. You, you want to make sure, though, that it is in alignment with your business or with your brand. So you certainly want to make sure, you know, that it does align with your brand. So once again, you know, as a business strategist, um, I have, um, you know, being an author definitely goes into the part of actually being a business strategist. And once again, actually writing that book was the catalyst for a lot of things in my business. So that was really cool. Some things that I didn't even think about when I wrote the book, um, you know, that wasn't even. Yeah. So really, really cool to be able to have that title. Hey, 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 hey. And to, let me know if I'm saying it right, because I'm I'm saying Rashima, but Rashima, please let me know if that's not right. And correct me if I'm wrong. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, 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 you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for popping up on in the year. And so, um, you know, you can definitely have a suite of physical products if you feel like it does align with your brand. And so, um, you know, people, they have all kinds of things. So, you know, books, T-shirts, you know, any of those things. OK, I got it right. So I'm ready for you <laughs> for our call, making sure I say your name right. OK, so you guys, that's definitely something. Um, and that's what usually a lot of people think of when you say products, they think of uh, physical products. Um, but another avenue for you guys, especially, you know, as a coach or a consultant are digital products. And so with your digital products, exactly what it is, you know, you can put you can create something, something as a digital product. And usually, you know, it could be an ebook, It could be an actual course that you put together. Um, like, for instance, you can do a webinar. And I know some of you guys are doing webinars. Hey, Leah, you guys, thank you for popping up on in here. All my wonderful, fabulous people are popping up in here. And I do appreciate it. Um, you know, you can take something that you've created, like a, a webinar, or if you've done, if you've done um, a series of videos, those you can actually make those and create those as a digital product. Like it could be a series of something that you're talking about. You can certainly have that and, um, you know, have that as a digital product that you can actually sell. And so what some people will do is, you know, with the, the series, they may do it like a, a Facebook Live or whatever it is. We'll just say Facebook, IG, you know what I'm talking about, Periscope, any one of the platforms. And, you know, they may do it free for that live audience, but then they repackage it and they will sell it as a digital product. And so, you know, if you're on and you're teaching something, then you can certainly have that digital product that you offer. Um, once again, a lot of people, they, they, they think about the physical, but maybe not necessarily the digital aspect of it. And you can certainly, you know, have that that you can actually sell. So something that you created, once again, it could be an ebook, it could be some sort of PDF, or I want you to also expand your thought a little bit because once again, we know uh, video, a lot of people do videos. And so you can certainly take your video content that you created, or if you have it, you can certainly start creating your video content. And like I said, just repurpose it and, um, and package it and you can actually sell it as a digital product. So that's just certainly something for you guys to think about if you have not done so. So those of you, if you've done webinars, you can certainly repurpose that, sell that. If you've done um, live series on live stream, hey, 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 you need, hey, 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 you guys. Um, so that's certainly another way where you can actually take that and repackage it or you may hear repurpose it. So those are definitely some ways that you can do that. And so up on the screen that I have here on Facebook, you know, say for instance, you got, and you've seen this post before, and I'm going to post it again in the Facebook group. Um, say, for instance, you know, you had a goal of making one hundred thousand dollars in your business for the year. And so, um, you know, if you have that goal of one hundred thousand dollars and then what I went through and did, I broke it down by some different price points. And so if you had if your goal was to make one hundred thousand dollars and you had a seventeen dollar product. And once again, if you're going to have those price points, so with physical products and digital products, they usually range in the price. You will see them range anywhere from like seven dollars up to like ninety seven dollars, just depending upon what it is. 
And so what I did, I created a little graphic that showed, well, this is the number of products you would have to sell at this price point to hit $100,000. Now, whatever your, you know, your monthly goal is, your annual goal, however you broke it down, you know, you could definitely do the same thing. But I just chose $100,000. And so if I wanted to make $100,000 and I had a $17 product, then I would have to sell 5,883 of those products to make $100,000. Does that make sense? So if that's all that I had to offer was a $17 product, then I would have to sell over five. So almost we'll say close to 6,000 of those to hit um, $100,000 for that year. Um, and then I had another example where I said, you know, still at $100,000, but if I had a product that was at $1,997, so $1,997, I would only have to sell 50 of those. So you guys, whenever you're thinking about your pricing, once again, if you have a physical product or a digital product, you certainly want to keep the pricing in mind. But if there's a financial goal you want to hit, yes, you have you set that financial goal. So if for the month of September, you have a financial goal of five thousand dollars. And so you're looking at what's in your product suite. And once again, you know, we have different things that we can have in our product suite. A really good way um, to look at it is to break it down so that you can see, well, how many of these do I need to sell in order for me to hit that monthly goal? You can certainly have that factored in when you're factoring in your prices. So you guys, let me know if that makes sense. And let me know if you do that whenever you are, like you set your, your, your goal for the month, your financial goal for the month. And then you look at the suite of products that you have and at the price point that you have. And then just let me know whether or not you actually look at, okay, well, how many of these do I actually have to sell um, in order for me to hit that goal? And so that's why you certainly want to make sure that you do have things at multiple price points. Um, and certainly, once again, we know the one on one is going to be at the higher price point. But you certainly want to look at if you haven't broken it down like that, I strongly encourage you to actually break it down so that you can actually see, well, hey, in order for me to hit this goal, this is how many I would have to sell. So once again, I just did um, just two examples. I just said, hey, if you had a $17 product, then you would have to sell 5,883 of those in order for you to hit $100,000. Um, or if you had a product that was at um, $1,997, you would just have to sell 50 of those in order for you to hit that. And you guys, I did the $100,000 over the year. So think about it. You know, if you did have that uh, product that was at $1,997 and you needed 50 of those and you were selling it over the year, then you can certainly break it down and see, well, how many do I need to sell per month? The same thing if all you had was the $17 product and you need to sell 5,883 of those, then you can certainly break it down and ask yourself, you know, okay, how many of these do I need to sell, you know, each month in order for me to be able to hit that goal? And so that's why, you know, I think that that's important when you are setting the goal, you know, setting your goal for the month, you certainly want to look at what are my offers right now? What are the price points of my offer right now? And then how many of these do I need to sell in order for me to actually hit my financial goal? So you guys just let me know whether or not that makes sense. And let me know, like I said, did you think about it like that? Have you thought about it like that? Like I said, if not, that is certainly something you want to do if you have not done it. Because like I said, it certainly motivates you to say, okay, well, maybe I do need to raise the price on this, or maybe I do need to have something else offered. Now, I'm certainly not saying you guys, please do not go and say that Bill said I need to have 50 things. No, no, you don't want to have 50 things that you're offering out there because that's a lot. <laughs> but you certainly want to make sure you do have a few things out there so that um, once again, you know exactly what you need to do. You have your goal that you set, because like I said, you guys, we're getting ready to move into, we're finishing up with the third quarter, the end of September. So we're moving into the fourth quarter, the end of the year. And so if you have not hit your financial goal, that goal that you have set, think back to the goal setting that we did at the very beginning of the year. Um, and think about the fact that we are getting ready to move into the fourth quarter. So you certainly want to make sure that if you have not been hitting your goals or you've been just close, that you certainly want to look at, okay, well, what can I do differently to finish off the end of the third quarter? Because we still have time. We still have time. We still have time. And um, and sorry, you got a little message popped up. <laughs> um, say that, um, you know, you still have time for third quarter. And then, like I said, fourth quarter is still wide open. If you haven't started planning for the fourth quarter, make sure you do that because you still have time. There is still time for you to hit your goal. But once again, you, make, you want to make sure that you're being strategic about it. So if you haven't sat down and looked at it, now is the prime time to look at it. We're still toward the beginning of September. Like I said, we still have the fourth quarter, but you certainly don't want to wait until October to start planning out for the fourth quarter. So you certainly want to do that. And so you guys, once again, I said I'm going to be on here quickly because of the storm out there. 
Um, but I want you to think about this. And like I said, if you don't have anything at the digital product, I'm sorry, in the product category as either digital product or physical product, I'm not saying to run out there and create something tomorrow. But I am saying, you know, if you feel like it's something that's in alignment with your brand, then you can certainly think about, well, what can I do? What can I create? Once again, digital products are usually, usually the easier one to do, you know, digital versus physical products. And of course, you know, um, with the digital products and you just send that out as people order it versus a physical product, you know, you may have to actually physically mail that or if you decide to do a third party, um, a third party, uh, you know, just depending upon what it is, like if it's a t-shirt or something like that, then you can certainly go through a third party and they can actually do all the shipping, all that stuff, drop shipping. That's just a different little aspect of it. Um, let's see, that's good information. I hadn't thought of it that way, but I need to because I'm interested in offering a product. And I'm like, I thought you said that you had like a, was it a calendar that you said you're going to do or a planner? So long, I thought that's what you said that you had a planner because I think we talked about that in the group the other day. Because that, because that certainly that was the first thing that popped in my mind when you mentioned. I'm like, oh, okay, she has a product that she wants to put out there. I think you said it was a um, a a, a, a was it scriptures. Yeah, let me let me know what it was because I know you said that. But yeah, like I said, you guys, you know, if you haven't thought about it, it's certainly something that you do want to think about. A journal. That's what it was. I knew I wasn't crazy. There we go. So yeah, a lot of that, that's actually what I thought of when you when you put that in the group. Uh, was that you do have a product. So yeah, so that certainly that will fall into that. It's, it's in alignment with your brand. Um, and just certainly you want to think about, you know, the pricing of that. And, um, you know, once you, there we go, prayer journal. I knew I was not crazy. I knew <laughs> she has a prayer journal that she wants to put out. So that is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. So like I said, you guys, you know, with today's product, uh, with today's topic, just quickly talking about different products. And like I said, if you have not purchased Tying the Knot Between Ministry and the Marketplace, which is a book in which I am a co-author, make sure you reach out to me. If you're on um, IG, the link is in my bio. Um, but this is just a great book for anyone that's actually any female and you're um it's just really sharing uh, speaking with you about or speaking with you about like the book is speaking but it's really talking about how you can remain um successful even in the marketplace so the marketplace is if you're an employee and or um, an entrepreneur how you can still hold on to your christian values and still be successful in those areas and so you guys so like i said if you haven't thought about it the the uh, the product piece is certainly something for you to think about. I have to do some writing, so I'll catch the rest of it. Oh, actually, unique. I'm getting ready to shut it down a little bit. Like I said, I hear the little rumbles again, so I'm certainly going to shut it down. Um, but yeah, certainly want to put that out there. You have a wonderful night as well. Uh, but certainly want to put that out there if you haven't thought about it. Like I said, I'm going to put the graphic up in the group of you know um, if you had a goal. I had a hundred thousand dollars of what you would need to sell at each little price point in order for you to hit that goal. So that's just something that puts things into perspective if you haven't. Um, also, if you're just like, you know, Bev, I haven't really thought about it, but I would love to sit down and speak with you about this, um, you know, certainly reach out to me. We can hop on a call. We can talk about how you can actually get this set up. Um, you can definitely reach out if you're on IG, if you're on um, Periscope, then you already know the link is in my bio. Um, and so that way we can certainly sit down and look at some ways that you can do this. And then, um, you know, just as another little avenue if you have not thought about it. And then if you are on Facebook, then the link, of course, is going across my, my, my chest over there on Facebook. I just put that up. So you guys, short and sweet, but once again, definitely something for you to think about. So today we talked about products. Um, and remember, that's going to usually be on the lower tier, just depending upon how you. Yes, 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 yes. Definitely will see you on Thursday. Um, if you have not thought about it, remember products are usually going to be on the lower end of the price side, usually anywhere from like $7 to $97. Um, so you certainly, you know, want to think about that. Um, but if you do have that as part of your suite, then definitely something for you to think about. Um, and, but just know the price ranges are usually kind of limited with that. Um, so that's products. And once again, as we go through this, we'll, we'll go up in price on, in the different little categories. So today's a product. Tomorrow we'll talk about programs um next one presentations and then your personalized sessions so just keep in mind we will go up in price each thing that i talk about and like i said also keep in mind you don't have to have something in every category i just want you guys to start thinking about these things and once again because we do want to bring that income in we know our one-on-one -on -one is going to be at that higher price point um and we're only going to serve a certain group of people at that higher price point so you guys thank you for hopping on like i said it's been what over a week since i've been on because i've been traveling so you guys i do appreciate it thank you so much for hopping on those of you that catch me on the replay remember you can leave your comments under the video i'll still get it and be able to respond that's of course if you are on facebook or ig periscope you know it's a different story over there <laughs> 
So you guys, thank you so much. I will be back tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as I continue with this series. So just giving you this week, giving you nuggets to think about as far as what you can offer in your business. So definitely hope that this was helpful. You guys have an incredible night because like I said, my mama knew I was on here with these electronics on and it's storming outside. So yes, I am going to shut it down right now. You guys have a great night. I will be back tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Like I said, if you are in the path of the storm, I definitely do, um, you know, want you guys to be careful out there. You guys have an incredible night. I will see you back tomorrow. Glad, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am so glad it was helpful, you guys. Thank you. Have a great night.